baptized or blackballed in the community based on what I blew the whistle on. Which is related Which to chemtrails or yes, not? Yes, actually, it's four different provisions. Okay, because like I've, I've heard said, you say I've heard you the... say in interviews that your whistleblowing had nothing to do with chemtrails, but I... now you're changing that. No, no, no. Why I left the Air Force? I have blown the whistle on probably three, four different federal programs. Uh, working and which on of those are the chemtrail program? Which one? Uh, that's one of the four. I okay. I did it on the. Air Force covering up carcinogens that were making people sick and wanting to shred air samples, the evidence of their exposures. Carcinogens from chemtrails? No, from an industrial process. Okay, but let's get back on topic. I am. You asked me about my whistleblowing, and I'm telling you that you, is no, one I'm of the No, I'm asking you about areas. your whistleblowing in connection to chemtrails. Yes, not I blew about the whistle on geoengineering. Thing. Yes. You, my, what had happened to me in exposing geoengineering, yes, I have whistleblower protection for that. And so this, uh, what was this? whistle that got blown on geoengineering exposing the programs that the Air Force which was doing. program geoengineering weather Just, modification without oh. informed consent and not making the people aware. wait a minute weather uh, modification I'm sorry I thought we were talking about chemtrails that's what it is it is weather modification well, she, it is a weather modification what, what she program. said at the beginning that with chemtrails she's talking about in relation to weather modification it's like saying that's you know what, what it's like saying, saying you know what I've got a background in biology is. therefore swamp thing you know, uh, I mean, not what but I don't like saying. being compared to other people because I feel like there's a lot of professionals who lack integrity. There's a lot of professionals who professionals who are biased. And like I told you, when I first actually started getting the information and researching it, I was on the opposing side. Mm -hmm. And then what happened to me in exposing it and finding the documentation and finding all laws being violated around that is when I started to talk about it. When I resigned from my federal position. I decided to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Well, um, just for the people maybe watching online, what is the URL they can go to to see your study that you did, your research, and, and review it and uh, I don't have do their it own analysis? Online. Okay, so. Um, Why not? Because, because of my pending court case. Okay, I was so. Asked, I was asked to actually shut down my so, website. So basically, the, the, let me, can I summarize your argument and correct me if this is oversimplification? Okay. But um, you, you had some government jobs that dealt with chemicals, you did some testing. And you, you came up with some really important information, but we're not allowed to know what that is. No, actually, I have previously presented my findings, and actually, I continue my studies. Um, because well, where could I somebody, have, where is there a video somebody could watch of you presenting that those findings? Or it, give, no, just give something for the audience that um, might say, you know I think I might she's have legit. Talked about Maybe it I want to go uh, hear that. Eddie Bravo Radio, because ever since I had to amend a provision of my my case, which I can't go into detail, I had to remove some information while I am pursuing something. So, um, so if, if nobody finds any actual evidence, that's just because you need to keep no, it No, there's evidence. Yeah, I, if somebody wanted to come stay with me for 30 days, I'll, we can, I, can, I have continuous sampling. But the problem is, my, I'm not here to convince Joe Smith. I'm here to pr convince those who can actually invoke change from the inside. And that's not to sound better than, that is to actually do what with what I can with the right people. It's who to tell, how to tell. People that will understand what I'm saying, that is my priority, is to inform those those people. Well, and do, there are many. Don't you think you'd be a lot more effective if you had like some kind of evidence? I do. For I've these presented it to multiple claims? professionals. What you may not know is that this is something that is on a, a global scale. I have many people in my profession, including people in the EPA, excuse me, and OSHA, who are aware of this. I gotta really ask: Do people buy that seriously? Like, do you, I've are, done this. I I've done you, important research, do you and, and, and I can't. This? Well, I, I'm just wondering if other people really you accept seem very that. very defensive, well, and I'm trying no, to. No, I'm just curious. I'm just wondering if people actually take that as a, as an argument when they say. Oh, I've done, I've, I, oh, trust me. Yeah, I got yeah, the evidence. And I've, I've told somebody else, I can't tell you right now. I can't link to it on the internet. I'm not going to make it available for peer reserve review. I mean, there, but there I'm are. Here, there but, are. But, but you're supposed to take my word for this well, I can show you because I used to work for the government. And I have some kind of credentials. I'm telling you my story. Hold on. Hold on. Everyone. Quiet. I am telling you my story. If you want evidence on... Geoengineering, all you have to do is hit it Google, hit news. You'll be learning about how drones are spraying now. You'll be learning about how it's being voted on and how they're getting ready to sell it to you so that when you're aware of it, you think Wait, it's a great idea. Let me just say something. I'm speaking something. of my evidence. Okay, I actually want to say something in defense of James. Yeah. I just, I'm listening to what you say also. And I understand you saying stuff, certain things cannot, that you found cannot be shown because of laws. No, it, it took it off the internet, you, but I have said and explained it to chemists and geologists, people. She just won't tell it to you guys. No, I have. No, no, no. I have all, all over the country. 
I can so, wait. I can understand. No, I, I've been looking at this for a long time too. So, but I can understand it from his position. Also, that listen, just give me something right concrete. And I have you were I saying have something about that. wait wait you were saying something about okay let's say all the stuff you've presented all the stuff you have you can't divulge it because of court no, case. Well, no no let I'm me, just saying I'm no just no saying. no let me let me verify that I have presented previous data currently right, right now. Right. But here's the thing I've told people, and you've heard me say this in speeches. Right. Even if there is evidence out there, I like to do my own investigation. And that is why I have asked people to do their own testing that is at their level and what they can do. Test your brain. This Just is. Test your brain. And this, people have wait. done that, and that is all over because the Because this is where and I'm getting to. comes out of a plane. Wait. Because you know what no, I tell wait, wait. people? Ridiculous. Can I tell you the yes. bill in Congress where they actually talked about it and specifically no, cited chemtrails for weather the, modification purposes? Well, no, That's what we're talking about. Listen, weather modification, as, as we brought up earlier, it up there, is that weather modification is something that's been, it's been researched, it's been proposed. And how do you think it happened? How do you know it's happening? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, the question, if you want to ask a question, go ahead. Uh, what exactly is your question? My thing is, you admitted weather modification is correct. I'm just saying it's a it, it's weather something that people study. Happens sure. Correct. People have been How do you think it happens, seeding? James? It doesn't oh. just happen. Weather modification. No. Cloud happen. seeding. Cloud seeding that is a well known. That is through chemtrails. Well, that's a that's a leap. Uh, that's a leap. That is. Oh, said, there's a house bill in Congress that says it. But we did it. It's documented. We blooded out the okay. whole team in Wait, wait, stop. Hey. Okay, okay, you can ask a question, okay. but you can't stop. just pontificate. But, I'm you how to find but let me yeah. respond. Yeah. Wait, no. Stop. Now I get. Not blood the Excuse me. Stop. Stop. I need to stop this. <laughs> this debate is brought to you by Bowman's Bakery. <laughs> the best in baked goods at Pork Fest. I, I, so why don't we all just stop right now? Go over there and buy some cookies. Yes. I'm not, I'm, I feel like now. everything I'm saying is being. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but what I was saying before, let's just say I'm a new person. Okay. Like him. You said you've done presentations, whatever. Okay. I want to start looking. Up right. Stuff. You talk about FOIA requests. Okay, so this is what I would like to I say start? without being interrupted because right. this is relevant. If you are brand new and you're hearing about it, this is what I would tell you. I would present to you the history of stratospheric aerosol spinning by our government, other governments. Mm -hmm. And then I will explain to you what is sprayed in that and how it is hazardous to human health and the environment and its carcinogens. Mm -hmm. Then you ask yourself, why, the, why would the government spray lead on us when, why would the government do this? So I'm going to explain to you the history, and then I'm going to explain to you things that have been talked about on the news. And then I'm explaining to you the history of how our government does things without informed consent. We all know that our government is corrupt. Then we can get into, mm -hmm. well, how do I know? I always tell people that your sample, for some people, is only as good as the sample that you have taken. Because if you're a skeptic, I could fudge my numbers, right? Mm -hmm. So I tell people to do their own sampling, and they get in contact with me. I tell them the methodology and how to do it and where to send it and what methods to do different ICPMS, all different methods. And I help them write their orders for the lab. And when these mm -hmm. people understand the background in their area, Aww. because sampling soil, unless you know what you're doing, it's not very helpful if you can't That's understand so what is naturally already there. Okay, can you pause? Sure. Um, well, we've, we've established that it, there's, a, there's no logical connection between taking a soil sample or an air sample and then saying, therefore, that thing I see in the sky is it. No, there I don't is think no way to confirm that. that. I'm, now you're interrupting, so mm. that's okay. Um, okay. Um, well, let's let him. I, I, that it, is, it is completely ridiculous to say that, well, this is how you test the soil and, and think that, you know what, you could find, oh, I'm living on solid barium, okay? It doesn't prove that anything came out of a plane. It, it has, there's no connection to it. I don't care how much weather you study or know which way the wind is blowing. It's not going to prove that that is a chemtrail. And that's what we're here to discuss so how, right so now. So how do companies get so, fined for pollution? So, how is um, the EPA able to determine where that's coming from? Sampling? Wait, this, they're the government. They just do <laughs> what they want. Well, for one thing, they might match the contaminants to a nearby source up the river and say, hmm, mm -hmm. we can trace it all the way back down here. You're light leaping to some a cloud. If you want to sample chemtrails and do a legitimate test, sample the chemtrails. You go up near the plane and sample it if right you now. can, or point your telescope at it like I suggested and do simple spectroscopic analysis, which equipment is available at any astronomy department uh, university, okay? Mm -hmm. It's going to be cheaper than a G. Edward Griffin film, okay? Do an experiment. Do an actual experiment. Well, do something can't. that people can reproduce. Can't. Okay, wait, wait. No. Let me ask something. Let me ask something. People can do anything. They can wait. do can anything. Can I explain why the public can't? Why? 
because if you do understand how sampling is done in the lab, to the public... She's still talking about soil sampling. No, I'm not, I'm not talking about soil. To the public, if I had a drone and I stuck a high flow or low volume air sampler up and followed a plane, there is not media. Media is what your sample is collected on that is available to the public that can collect nanoparticulates. It will go right through the media. So we are unable to do that on a public scale. Can, is there a certified lab by the government? Maybe. So, Maybe some big so corporation, you can, but you the can, public You can't test access. it up near the plane. You can only find it in your ground later and then draw the conclusion that's where because it's come it's from. Because it's carried down by moisture. That is so ridiculous. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. It's carried down by question. moisture. Snow and rain is natural filter. So you have to understand how to do the sampling, which is why I'm telling you your sample is only good to those wait, who understand you it. You can only right. sample. You know, if you want to test chemtrails, you have to sample oh, the chemtrail. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Let me ask a question here. You talk about the sampling. Okay. One thing I've heard about chemtrails is that they often happen before major rain showers. Okay? Is it possible to, let's say, oh, my area gets a lot of chemtrails. Okay. Someday it's like nice out. Next day it just rains. You take a sample of that rainwater. If you test that rainwater, a day you see chemtrails in the sky, heavy chemtrailing, and it rains after that. Would there be a difference in these rain samples? Well, of course there could be. Would that, okay, let's say. I mean, yeah, anything is possible as far as. Well, he's is. talking about, you, you just take a sample of the ground and you find this stuff. In, in a sense, he's no, right. It's, it's, wait, you wait, shouldn't wait. take a sample of the no, ground. No, no, no. In a sense, I understand what you're saying because you could find barium aluminum in the right. ground. How do you but know you that have to know, there? You have to know the background in your area, which is already established by environmentalists. That's because the thing. that covers companies. No, you can determine that it's new and it doesn't belong no. there, but you can't. You, you know, there's no experiment that you've described wait, that, wait, wait. that connects the dots from the sky to your sample. <laughs> That's just a fact. I'm sorry. You can keep talking about how to test air and soil, but if you're not willing to even come up with some kind of theoretical experiment that, that's going to prove this. Now, you're talking about soil and air samples <laughs> after we've already established that, that this is not, that is not a chemtrail. Soil and air. No, it is not is that not. established. We have, we have not The difference here that. is I feel that your, your view on this is based on, I feel, the accusation that my information is either missing, not there, or this is falsified. And what I'm trying to explain to you is, to prove to people like you, I'm trying to educate people how to do their own sampling. Now what I was trying to say about the soil sample is, the reason that different areas have documented background information is so if you're a construction company and you come to a bait of, of underground fuel tank, there is historical sampling in there that says mm -hmm. this already had high PCBs. Right. So I can't blame the construction company say, that's your PCBs, give me, give me money. That background data is there. So you have okay. to know the background data before you do a soil sample. Oklahoma, certain areas, I mean, California, oh my gosh, like the clay content, you're going to have a bunch of minerals. But you have to know the background, right. you have to know what you're doing, and you have to know how to have it tested. See, I have a theory that if, if barium suddenly appears where it doesn't belong, that it came from UFOs, okay? Because it shouldn't be there normally. And therefore, UFOs in the atmosphere, okay? Mm -hmm. My theory is has just as much evidence as her theory, that this is now somehow coming out of a military plane, um, either in the stratosphere for geoengineering or down lower for passenger jets, I, I don't know. Uh, but you know, you, if you want to make an assertion, you know, it it's really not. can't be it can't be taken seriously if, if it if there's no evidence to support it of any kind. Um, I, I wouldn't know what you would have, what type of evidence you would have. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, no, don't Alex Jones me. No. That, that's, that's Ed Reagan right there. The, my favorite shitster. No. Um, your your uh, belief that that is occurring, I would hope it was more than just a, I think so. Um, and I, that oh, is I know so. I, I have a, I had a special job and I did some tests. I can't tell you what the results are right now, but I've told other people that I have definitive proof that barium soils samples from the soil are from UFOs. And I can. Other people in your profession, hopefully, would would try to um, research what you are saying. If, if that. And how would they do that? But I'm keeping my. I can't. I, I can't reveal my research. You can, I have revealed my research, so if that's your argument, it's false. I have revealed my research, and so have other chemists and, and, oh my gosh, I can tell you, a company, Coolox, that remediates soil. There's tons of people who, who are aware of this program. 
And unfortunately, because of ethics, they still carry their government contracts and do this well, stuff. Let's, let's, ask this choice. let's ask this question. Someone does do this, a soil sample, okay? Right. And they do, and they've gone through the background of their area, and they have found elevated levels of barium, aluminum, whatever, in their soil. Something is now different. Okay. Now they say, okay, why is this here? Our okay. question. What would, what would you? Say to them and say, you know, I heard this chemtrail stuff. I don't believe it, but there's these elevated things. I, those temp, those chemtrail people are nuts. So I'd say you. I'd say, to you. I just say you're you asking say? the right question. I don't have an answer, but I, it's a good question. But see, instead of saying I know where it came from because I watched an Alex Jones video, you start by saying I don't know, and you start and you can start was hypothesizing. That a, was that directed towards me? Because um, I watched an Alex Jones video. No. Okay. I'm talking about Alex Jones okay. now, but you know, there's a we can beat this dead horse about whether soil samples are relevant or not. But I, I'd like to before this oh, is over cover some other areas too. So, um, I get the the, the the theories that that have been presented are usually like geoengineering, for instance. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a she says no, they're like doing that for raining. geoengineering. Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, geoengineering proposals have been out for for dec Decade. generations. Yeah. Okay, that's nothing new. People have proposed it. There was a guy on Colbert Report, um, you David know, Keith? yeah, yeah, David Keith, and David, and the, and, the, and what he's describing is, um, you know, is reflective particles, you know, with the specific uh, purpose mm -hmm. of, of cooling the earth. He says, you know, we really need to look into this. He's talking about using sulfuric acid in the stratosphere. Okay, mm -hmm. that's not barium. <laughs> that's not aluminum. So these people, th there, there's people health. that are that have his theory. Would that, that be a good idea, though? Well, I don't know. He's, he's just Hazardous saying this should be proposed. Health. And Colbert is like, hey, uh, you know, maybe they're already doing it. And these things we see in the sky, it's really happening. So like, what do you think about that? And this expert in geoengineering said, oh, that would be extremely unlikely. Why? Okay? Mm -hmm. um, that what you, what his, uh, his idea for geoengineering has nothing to do with jetliners or anything to do in the troposphere so wait a at minute. all. Let me ask, this expert, who he does he work book. for? He I don't even know. Harvard. Now, Harvard, why do you believe him? No, I'm just pointing him at as somebody who, I didn't even say I believe him, I'm just saying what he said. Mm -hmm. um, he is uh, identified as a, is this an umbrella's out here? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, where the hell is going? I mean, oh, my, my sound recording. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so geoengineering theories have been out for a long time, and people are talking about them openly, mm -hmm. but yet they have, the people that are taking um, uh, this reflective, uh, technology seriously are talking oh, about something completely different than the chemtrail people are talking about. Um, so it's the weather there's modification. a big disconnect there. Other people say, "Oh, you know what? They're spraying it to. to they're, they're trying to poison now. us. They're trying to dumb us well, down." Well, that, that is that. not what I talk about. But what I want to know is, if you're aware of all these potential programs that you're hearing about, why is it so difficult for you to fathom that it would be already occurring? Which I don't know which program you're talking about. Stratospheric aerosol spraying for weather modification. Um, well, it, it could be happening. Like I said, I just but haven't seen the evidence. That is the conversation that we're having. Right. And a, a if lot somebody of times, show me evidence that. That it was I have taking place. I have the house bill that was introduced. In Again, Congress a house bill is not evidence where it, somebody mentions something. Well, that's just one the of Bible several government documents. All the laws mention stuff. Uh, guys, guys. we still like recording here. <laughs> so, um, anyway, my point is there's the, the, there's the, there's a lot of theories about chemtrails out there. They get mixed up and confused a lot. I'm glad Megan doesn't embrace them all simultaneously because the people that do that look even more ridiculous. Uh, they say that that it's for to save the world from global warming and to poison you. Possibly also delivering vaccines at the same time. Um, that's where people. That's where people try to discredit me, and I am not right. part of that movement. I will only speak to what I have seen and what I know, mm. and people will bait me into answering questions. I won't, because this is well, aside from being well, an activist. Thing. This is my. This is my. That's why I never get paid or compensated for speaking about this, because this is based on my personal integrity. This is not. This is. I am trying to do my job. And I was not able to do my job while in the government. So I understand there are people who want to say, people actually attack me because when I give speeches, I don't talk about eugenics and I don't talk about Monsanto seeds. Because you know what? I don't know. I don't work for Monsanto. I didn't see it. Is it speculation? Do I have my own views? Yes. But I don't speak about them publicly because I do not have any evidence for that data. But the whole point I want people to understand is, Look at the history of stratospheric aerosol spraying. Look at how people are profiting off of weather at the at the Chicago Exchange and over in Germany. Look at that and just ask yourself: If you know this happened, this happened, 
Why is it so hard to believe that this all right, is let's happening? Get this that is all I'm trying to say. Because it's a huge it's leap of faith <laughs> that a but complete change of the this subject. This is about informed consent. You know, and you even use but the word stratospheric. It's funny that you even, you're even talking about stratospheric um, weather modification when when you see these things in the air. That's in the troposphere. That's not even in the stratosphere. Whatever what we all say are contrails. Stratospheric aerosol spraying is the description of spraying. Doesn't matter if you're in the ionosphere or whatever. It is spraying. <laughs> above mm -hmm. land it is spraying mm -hmm. crop dusting that is all something so that we are doing so the if you want to get technical no, we can this is measure a, and see what sphere no. we're in but stratospheric spraying is a very specific thing that involves really the stratosphere spraying where reflective particles might have ability to float around long enough to actually do anything that is Everything why you, it is when small. you see a com a, a contrail rates. or chemtrail what this discussion is about okay is in the troposphere behind a jetliner at normal jetliner uh, altitudes, which is in the troposphere. If they're doing something in the stratosphere, it's not going to look like a contrail anyway if they're spraying something Have up there. Have you researched using not chemtrails, but solar radiation management? Have you researched the That's documentation? That's not what we're talking that about That is here. exactly what it is. It is whatever you want to call it, a contrail, stratospheric aerosol spraying, you want to call Operation LAC, whatever you want to call it. It is about solar radiation management. That is why you lose uh, use aluminum. That's why we cook with aluminum foil. It is highly reflective. Unfortunately, the reason I even talk about this is that it is non, it is, we are not told of the hazards mm -hmm. that is being put upon us without us knowing. That is, this is why I talk about it, because of informed consent. That is it. I have no other agenda other than trying to protect the people and get people to do their own research and do their own testing and say, well, fuck Kristen Megan, who cares? Do your own research. Please try to prove me wrong, but you know in the process, you're going to be like, holy shit. Why am I having these levels in my rainwater? Because if you take it to the EPA and you were a company and that was on your site, you would be cited. So I talk about the selective enforcement by those government agencies like OSHA and EPA. But people get lost in translation with me when they couple me in with people that say it's for this or that or that. That is not what I speak about. I tell you what I know and why it's wrong. But so these fluffy things in the sky, is it in the stratosphere or is it in the troposphere? It depends. Is it from a military plane or is it from a commercial plane with passengers in it? I know at in 2005-ish, uh, it was by the military. Could it be contracted? I'm not sure. But what I saw, it involved the U.S. Air Force, yes. And even though we don't have any evidence, we've covered we have, that already. I have evidence. Okay. Secret evidence. No, it's it's not secret. It's well, just off the internet right okay. now. Okay. So. Okay, so it's it's pending. Okay, so should we go to the library or Hall of Records or what? No, Just actually, for, for those watching there, the video that is, say, is there some place for someone right, to start? All you need to do, I told you, do your own. My, but I can my dad. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's called an Air Force Form thirty nine fifty two. Guess what? Look it up. You know, the, unfortunately, you're wait. the one making an extraordinary claim. It's not an extraordinary. Wait, wait, wait. Claim. What was that again? What was that again? You just said what was it? Air Force Form thirty nine fifty two. And this is what? It is the approval form of the use of hazardous materials, which should state where a chemical is going and why and ask for these specific chemicals and that's why I'm so, trying to so tell this is something and someone can look up on the internet well no you have to ask for filled out forms to oh, FOIA. Ask for mm -hmm. so because the because the Air the Force might it. buy barium therefore no. chemtrails she it's said not, it was it's for not the a, use it is about what they're certain, using it for do you have certain metals that are used for sandblasting shot peening bead blasting okay so I, I just want to make sure yeah. I'm filling out all the right government forms to get mm -hmm. this evidence you talk okay. about so I need to find. I need to. I need to do a Freedom of Information Act with the Air Force. Any? And on every material, which on no, every you, material. You ask what an Air Force Form 3952 chemicals involved with the Air Force Weather Modification Program? Because if you just say aluminum, well, that's used in shot painting, and it comes in little beads, bead blasting, but not nanoparticulate metals that are industrialized and mixed with powders and polymers and aerosols. That's why I'm trying to so tell you. So you're grouping you. weather modification like rain seeding to create a better battlefield environment in Vietnam to, to the same thing as stratospheric uh, nanoparticulate spraying. Why they want to maybe cripple the enemy with weather is separate from the fact that they're trying well, when to... The, when, when, we, when it's known that I, the Air Force is interested though? in weather modification, let's not, let's not forget the fact that simple cloud seeding was, was something they were attempting to do in Vietnam era right. to create and more Olympics. rain for the enemy. Correct. Um, that, but what is is that is obviously well, what completely is that? unrelated to... But what is that? That is modifying the weather. Yeah, but total cloud seeding is something that's been done for like a century. Right. So is, um, you know, there's a lot of ways. Using? Silver iodide? 
The point is, is what they're using. Now, I just wanted to clarify for, for people watching that when, when we're talking, when you, if you say, well, the Air Force has been interested in weather modification, proof. Weather modification does that's, not mean chemtrails. Not, okay, you that, got on it. Let's let's clearly separate but these you are, things. You're incorrect. No, that I am incorrect. absolutely <laughs> correct because you are cloud seeding is a well known. Cloud seeding is not weather modification. I didn't. Say, no, I said it is weather modification. How do you think they inject chemicals? You, okay. What I'm trying let to explain to you is hold on, let me finish. Wait, 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 I have been cut off. You have to understand what they're using to modify the weather, whether it be on the ground to stop an earthquake, to shoot shit up, to stop a tornado. My whole issue is what are they using? Because what they are using, if I were to use it here, I need to be in a respirator and have an SDS and have approval and permits. But they can dump the shit on us, and it's about informed consent. You can't tell me that it's normal to put carcinogens in the sky, regardless of why they're doing it, when I can go and find Gigi Bowman's cupcake place for letting out carbon. I'm telling you that geoengineering is a form of weather modification, and all of the documentation is out there, but I'm telling you, just type in geoengineering and hit Google News. You'll hear what the Navy is doing, what the drones are doing, and I'm telling you right now, But again, we're talking about these fluffy things we see in the sky here. That is weather modification. Yeah, but it lets, you know, you get so far off topic and it's just one of these rants. Topic. It's I like... I feel like what I'm telling you is maybe a different angle that you no, maybe have heard of. it's just completely it something completely different. It is completely relevant. And it really confuses people that don't, haven't really thought thought this through. And they might think, well, oh. if we can establish that the Air Force is interested in weather modification, therefore chemtrails. And that's your argument. <laughs> when weather modification has been around long before chemtrail right. theorists or even theories of atmospheric reflective spraying. Uh, you don't think to, that they evolve with new technology that they find it's is just maybe totally cheaper things. or better? You know, the Army is always working on what, on all kinds of interesting projects that they think might uh, give them an advantage. You know, they they do, they researched incendiary bats at one point where they developed a, a bats with a little phosphorus bomb and they would chill them down in the plane and they'd drop them over a town in a parachute and they got low enough they'd warm up and then they'd go fly under somebody's... Um, uh, barn and set the town on fire was this great weapon concept. <laughs> the military will try anything. Right. They will put exactly. in all kinds of research into, gosh, could we possibly blot out the sun and send our enemy into an ice age? They'll think about anything. They'll spend a billion dollars. They'll spend a billion dollars to see if remote viewing is possible. Or port a potty just because the, the I know. just because the government has this concept of like, wouldn't it be cool if we could do something? Means it ever actually happens or takes place. And even if they are doing it, for you have no way to connect it to that to a yes, pink to are. a white line in the when sky. When people understand how to take atmospheric samples and plot them. I'll do a commercial. Big time to buy some big goods. Are you, are you looking for them? You looking for them? Take this time to come by Jimmy Drove's bakery. Buy some big goods. Go GMO there? free, gluten free. You, there. you won't regret it. <laughs> my family, I think my family might be over there. Family, but I want to help you find something before. You want someone to walk over there with you? Okay. We'll find them. We'll find them. Why don't you ask the map? Do you want to walk over there? Do you want someone to walk over there? Oh, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Not much we can do about that. Maybe put like a, a washer on the back right. or something. I'm not sure. I don't really yeah, have an answer for that. Like that. <laughs> if you can't find them, come back, okay? And now back to our regularly scheduled right. programming. So what I want to say is, I know from what I've gathered from you is you feel that a lot of the things that I'm talking about is irrelevant. And I'm trying to tell you it's actually the most important part of the, quote, argument is that... If you are sitting here that you're aware that they've talked about weather modification, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but you've acknowledged that they have done cloud seeding, 
why is it so hard for you to say they might be doing it and not telling us because they know in the day of the internet people can google these contaminants and say you know what that causes cancer we can't tell the public we're putting we're spraying the equivalent of anthrax to kill gypsy moths on the public like they did in the suburbs of okay, Chicago. Okay, I'll answer. Again, I said I'm not going to debate how evil the government is or what they might want to do. It's not about evil, it's the capability do. of, of what yeah, they Yeah, they have do. the capability of dropping nukes on people and they can still spin it. But have they, they not wanted sprayed to, chemicals they in the atmosphere? Um, who's they? The government. Right, the again, government. you, we're trying to, we're talking about